What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys are having a great, finally, freaking Friday. Uh, we'll be doing our live stream in about two hours from now, so I hope you guys can join us here as we get ready to take on the Carolina Panthers. Hopefully... The Cowboys don't play down to the competition. Hopefully they can get in, get some work in, see some of these younger guys, get a big victory, and go home unscathed. This is, well, I can't believe that we're at week number 11 of the NFL season and how crazy it is that yesterday Deshaun Watson was lost for the season and then today Joe Burrow is. You know, it's crazy because the NFL – does so much to protect the quarterbacks, you know. You can kind of look at them sideways, you know, and you'll get a flag. But yet the quarterbacks still keep dropping like crazy. Um, that lets you know that, you know, football, it's a dangerous sport. And any play can be your last play of the season or of your career. So, you know, you got to be thankful for the time that you have. My quarterback, Dak, is playing pretty, pretty good right now. And I love uh, that fact. But I'm curious because I haven't heard from the Eagle fans quite so much this week. You know, last week it was, it's just the Giants, a divisional win. It means nothing. Your team still stinks and yada, yada, yada. You know, they had their fun. They always have their fun with us. But I'm curious if the Eagles are concerned right now because of the schedule that they have right now. Um, and as I pull it up, well, actually, while I pull it up, uh, let me give you a station identification. Now, this is the, the rough part of their schedule. After they get through the next five weeks, then things look to be a whole lot better to finish off the season because they've got the Giants twice in the last month of the year. But they've got the Kansas City Chiefs on the road, a team that actually bitch slapped them in the Super Bowl and um, definitely is probably that, that – it's like that – Popcorn kernel that's stuck in your teeth. It's just gnawing at you and things. So you know that the Eagles are going to be motivated to play. But Andy Reid is deadly after a bye. I'm trying to remember. Um, Game time, Brian put it out there. Something like 24, to, 24 and 3 after a bye. And, of course, it's at Arrowhead, which is a hard place to play. Now, I will say that. Pat Mahomes has been playing more like a mere mortal as opposed to a god that he has been in past years. But that's not to say that he can't turn it on on the big stage. Um, but Kansas City's defense has been really good. And if you think, you know, Pat Mahomes has struggled, well, this is a team that you can kind of get right with because the Eagles secondary is not good. But I'm curious if you Eagle fans are worried at all because – now, maybe you get a break with Buffalo because Buffalo seems to be imploding. Um, things seem to be really, really bad. You got Stefan Diggs saying, you know, you go after my family and things like that. He's wearing a hat. You know, I love mom. I love mama and things. Um, Josh Allen, you know, just looks dumbfounded and, you know, so on. And they're basically desperate right now to try and save their season. They can't afford any losses, so they're going to be motivated to play that game. And then San Francisco, who had the three-game losing streak, now all of a sudden seems like they're back on their usual, usual tear. So if the Cowboys, if we can win against Carolina and the Eagles don't against the Chiefs, we're only one game behind. If the Eagles lose any of these games and we don't, we're one game behind. When we play them at home, where we have won 12 straight, averaging about 36 points a game. That's going to be a tough one. And then even after us, they've got the Seattle Seahawks. So by all means, this is not settled yet. This is 
this is bad. If you're the Eagles, this is bad. Coming off the bye week, you got some rough road to hoe. We'll have to wait and see how that works out. But, you know, we as Cowboys, we have Carolina. And then we have the Commanders at home on Thanksgiving. Um, you know, it is a divisional game. The Commanders, um, Sam Howell has been able to put up some points and things like that. Um, but hopefully the Cowboys find a way to win. And then after that, we play at home against the Seahawks again, where we have been 12-0. and 0 And just taking care of business. And... Um, I think that this thing, the marbles are all going to happen December 10th. And maybe the Cowboys can make this a December to remember. But for us, the schedule gets rough then because then we got to play Buffalo and we got to play Miami and we finish off with the Commanders. Um, I will say Buffalo and Buffalo is going to be cold in the same thing where Buffalo is desperate. Uh, you got Stefan who may be auditioning for the Cowboys. And, um, you know, it's always tough for an indoor team like the Cowboys to play on the road in the cold in Buffalo. Um, Seahawks, they're not going to be any cakewalk either. Um, but at least you're playing at home as opposed to Seattle. The Cowboys have all winnable games left on the schedule. They can win on any of these games, but they can also lose any of these games as well. So, Philly, you know, why, why so quiet, Philly? I, I, why so quiet going into this weekend? You usually tell me how you're going to be blowing people up, besides in the bathroom. But you're usually telling me how you're going to blow people up and you're going to destroy them. I don't know that you can beat Taylor Swift and crew. I, I, just, I just don't know. But, Philly, I, I, I look for a response from you, buddy. Let me know what you're thinking, man, because... Shit is definitely real right now. All right, good people. I will catch you guys tonight during our live stream. Peace. He slid and he went head first at him. That's a penalty. Why do they call a penalty? First of 10. Game will still on the field. Motherfucker. That should be a pen that should be a personal foul. Mother humping bullshit. First of 10 at the 42, Hurts, back to pass, looking, looking, throws. He gets hit as he throws, intercepted. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because guess who's on the field? Guess who's on the field? Kenneth fucking Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell sucks. I, it's Gainwell's fault. It's all Gainwell's fault. Get him off the field. Fucking Gainwell. Get his ass off the field so we can score some points. Every time he's on the field, we don't do shit. Gainwell just, what is he doing? He's just standing there picking his ass. What did I got my ass today? Oh, some corn and so. Oh, look, an undigested tomato. What is he doing?